Hey guys, Phil Green again, this time with a painting video. I've never done a video like this before, so today we're just trying out something new. This is my first ever painting video, and it's not really a tutorial as such, but if you want to use it for help painting your own minis, then please feel free to do so. Just wanted to do this for fun, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be doing a series of these videos painting the minis from the Resi 3 board game. Our leading lady Jill Valentine is up first, so I started off with a base coat of Mechanica Standard Grey. With her base and ready to go, it's time to start painting. I thinned down all my paints before I used them and applied at least two thin coats. I started off by painting her skirt and her useless jumper that she never actually wears, using Corvus Black for the skirt and White Scar for the jumper and the lip on her skirt. With her skirt done, and many, many layers of white later on the jumper, white's such a bastard to get right, I focused on painting her blue boob tube next, for which I used Thousand Suns Blue. Now that her top is that lovely shade of blue, next up is her boots. I use Steel Legion Drab for them, but as you can see, I'm a messy child who can't colour in between the lines, but never fear, we will be touching up any mistakes that we make later on. After her boots, it's time to bring her to life. I use Katie and Flesh Tone to paint all of her exposed skin on her legs, arms, and head. After that, it's time to paint her stylish yet iconic bobcat with some Mournfang Brown. With only a few bits left to do, it's time to paint her inventory expansion pack gifted by Carlos and her gun. The paints this time around are Castellan Green and Abaddon Black. With all the parts of the model painted, and all the messy mistakes covered up, the last stage of painting Jill is to give her a wash. This will bring out all the fine details and hopefully make them pop a little. I use Reichland Flesh Shade on her skin, Drakenhof Nightshade on her top, and Null on everything else, but very carefully on the white, trying to only get it into the recesses. With the shading now done, you can see some of the details better, like her face, the creases in her clothes, and some of the details on her skin, such as her knees. Next, I base the model using the same technique I used for my Resident Evil 2 minis. This effect is achieved using a layer of Astro Granite Technical Paint on the base, which adds the lumps, a wash of Null Null over the top, and then a light to dry brush of Celestra Grey to add colour to the lumps. I feel this is a great way to simulate the ash and rubble of a burning Raccoon City. I finish it off with a blue band around the base, as she's one of the good guys. And there you have it, one Jill Valentine ready to tackle whatever Umbrella dares to throw at her next. Thanks for watching this sort of experimental video guys, any feedback is always greatly appreciated and I hope to see you in the next one.